I, I just felt that probably it is about balance, you know. Policy making is about balance. So I would like to ask the, uh, uh, the, the acting minister uh, two questions with regards to that. Um, the way we, I think the way the government conduct policies today, a lot is profit seeking and using the market model. So I think what we are as the alternative parties, what we are bringing to the house is that we hear a lot of uh, feedback about problems. So the anger must be, besides using the market model completely, there must be more consideration for the social aspects of a lot of the policies. I first need to say that I reject the way that Mr. Leong has characterised the way the government operates. I think that's quite uh, uncalled for. Uh, I just spent good 40, 45 minutes explaining our approach to helping Singaporeans cope with the rising cost of living and what we are doing through different ways in a fair, effective and sustainable manner. Now we can debate about different ideas, we can discuss different possibilities like what the Leader of Opposition and I have done just now on water. That is okay, sir. But I reject what Mr Leong has said, that the government is profit-seeking. Sir, if we look at public transport, just now Mr Gia mentioned. If we are indeed profit-seeking, the way to do it is to pass through all 22.6%, as recommended by the formula. Did we do that? No, we didn't. We passed through less than one-third, and we absorbed the rest because we understand that in this current environment, we do not want to add further stresses on Singaporean families. And this cost the government $300 million to plug the delta, the 15.6%. And on top of that, every year we give $2 billion for public transport, $1 billion thereabouts for bus, $1 billion for MRT. Again, this is profit-seeking. So, sir, I respectfully ask Mr Leong to withdraw that comment because I think it's not fair and it's not um, the right way to describe the way the government operates or to conduct this debate. Can I pause here to ask if you agree to withdraw that comment first before I answer the rest of his questions? Mr Speaker, sir, I think the government, one of the basic uh, uh, approach uh, adopted by the government is still to make sure that public, public services are profitable. I, I will stand by that. So if they want to ensure that the public services are profitable, then it is profit-seeking. Profit so if there are certain industries like the, like the bar services that you, you, make a prof, uh, you, you, you can't make a profit yet, then it might be because that the, you, see, you, are still, um, uh, um, uh, you are still trying out the model. Because this contracting is a new model, right? Compared to uh, other things. But whereas in the established area, like water, like COE, you definitely have Mr. Leong, actually, oh, uh, SMSG is asking, are you withdrawing? I, no, if I'm you're not, not then the short answer yeah. is no. Yeah, thank you. Since Mr. Leong has refused to withdraw, I would have to put on record that we reject the way he has characterized, the way the government operates, and then uh, I can give many more examples, but I, in the interest of time, maybe just allow me to comment on one thing. So the bus contracting model that Mr. Leong mentioned, I do not know if Mr. Leong is aware that at the moment for bus services, LTA, as I mentioned earlier, provides $1 billion every year because it is loss-making. Almost all the bus services that are running on our roads today are not making profit. They are all losing money. Why do we continue to run them? Because they meet the needs of our residents. Because they meet the connectivity, commuting needs of Singaporeans. So even when the bus service is not making money, we know this is a public good, this is a public service, it's an essential service. We continue to run that service, even though it is not making money. And then to make sure that we are able to run this on a sustained basis, the government then provides the subsidies to the tune of $1 billion for bus and $1 billion for MRT. So, sir, we are looking for financially and fiscally sustainable outcomes. 
It is different from profit-seeking. So, the social aspect in policy formulation, I think is very much top of mind for government. If you listen to different generations of finance ministers during budget, there will always be one segment on the economy because we do need to grow the economy to earn a living, to create jobs. But there's always an important segment also on social policies. National Day Rally, Prime Minister has always focused as well on different ways of improving our social policies, housing, education, healthcare. So again, sir, I reject the way that Mr. Leong has characterised the government's way of working to say that we only care about profits and there's no social aspect in our policy making. It's absolutely untrue.